it's the first time the ECOWAS parliament is sitting since COVID-19 struck the world, including the sub-region. The invitation extended to President Kufado to address the regional legislature comes on the heels of a similar invitation extended to him by the Pan-African parliament in South Africa. Issues tabled by the ECOWAS parliamentarians include the ravages of COVID-19 and its impact on livelihoods in the block. The WHO says 3.5 million people have died from the pandemic, but the number of deaths recorded within the ECOWAS region is 6,000. But President Kufuado enjoined the block not to be complacent and continue to adhere to the protocols. On vaccination, he said Ghana and Senegal have taken bold steps to become the hub of vaccine production in Africa. We must nevertheless encourage countries within our community, like Senegal and Ghana, that have taken steps to develop the capacity to produce their own vaccines and others within the larger African Union to this end so that we can more effectively deal with future pandemics and not be dependent on foreign supplies and benevolence for the protection of our people. On Mali, the president said it's disturbing that the interim government's program to return the country to civilian rule in February 2022 has been disrupted due to the military seizure of power on Tuesday, May 25, 2021. As current chairman of the authority, I authorized an ECOWAS delegation comprising the high-level mediator of the Malian crisis, the former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Goodluck Jonathan, the chair of the ECOWAS, the Council of ECOWAS Ministers, the Ghana's Foreign Minister, the Honorable Shelly Ayokobuche, and the president of the ECOWAS Commission, His Excellency John Claude Brew, to go immediately to Bamako to assess the situation and report back to me. Regrettably, this season of rains has meant that they were unable to make their flight back from Bamako in time for this ceremony. I have not been able to receive yet a first-hand report of the situation. My instinct, though, is that we should call an immediate extraordinary emergency summit of the authority which was responsible for ironing out the transitional arrangements to decide on the way forward for ECOWAS and Mali. The chairman of ECOWAS called for a concerted effort to root out terrorism and piracy which is affecting the narrative of the region from one of peace into a portbed of banditry and terrorism. Edward Nyakun, reporting for GBC News.